What's up, guys? Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Welcome back. Um, here today with a Club Tech unboxing. Um, got uh, one, two, three, four, five things in this box. Um, this is the standard pro level. Uh, so far, I've been, Club Tech's okay. You know, some of the stuff is kind of gimmicky. Some of it's, uh, see some of that today. But some of it's, uh, you know, there's a couple pretty quality items in here. Um, first, we'll start off with uh, kind of one of the more gimmicky things, but it's kind of cool. The Tactical Christmas Stocking. Um, sure you've all seen these before. Uh, it is pretty heavy duty. Uh, I mean, you know, it's... There's no way in hell my wife would let me hang this on the fireplace. So this will probably go in either a giveaway or to my brother. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's big. I mean, it, it'll hold quite a bit and it will flap open for some of us, uh, some overstuffing, you know, if feeling generous that year. Uh, zipper is a little, uh, a little sticky. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the first item. Uh, second item we've got is um, this. This comes in one of these comes in pretty much every one of their boxes. Uh, what do they call it? A uh, gear guide. Uh, so what it is, you know, kind of hangs from. You can hang it from the bag. It's got molly hooks on it. Uh, it's like a rubber. They they all have uh, centimeter and inch rulers on them, and they all have some kind of um, one of them has knots. This one is Morris code. Uh, you know, there's calibers. They all kind of have little like little cheat sheet things on them. Um, you know. They're okay. Something to, you know, throw in a bag, you know, just in case. You know, the knot one is, is fairly, it's, it's pretty handy. Just uh, as, a, as a reminder. Um, up next, we have the Hammer Multi-Tool. Um, this tool is great for backpacking in any occasion, car, hiking, camping, and in your home use. This camping multi-tool has an integrated design including 13 different tools. Flat hand, hammer, inner hex wrench, wood saw, light, can, bottle opener, knife, big Phillips screwdriver, false, small Phillips screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, nail claw, etc. Made from stainless steel. It's it's heavy. Uh, it is it is it is heavy. That's the brand. I'm not even gonna try that. Um, yeah, not real sure where this is from. Uh, does come with a nylon sheath belt loop on it. Um, so here is the blade. Uh, not terrible. Needs needs a little touching up. Does not lock. That is kind of a downside. You know, multi-tool, you'd like to have it to lock. And then this is a multi-tool in a multi-tool. Um, you've got your flathead screwdriver, uh, saw, step-down uh, hex wrench sizes, uh, bottle opener, can opener, uh, you know, kind of your basic multi-tool almost like a pocket like the card multi-tools what kind of what all comes on those um, it does have a small flashlight on it not terrible you know could be a lot worse and then it has the uh, fine point mint blunt and then a uh, flat head and they go in uh, 
little magnetized spot up here at the top. Uh, would not feel comfortable putting a whole lot of torque behind that, but you know, for maybe just some fine tune, uh, fine tune stuff, you know, probably work pretty well for you. Um, that's the sharpest thing on this whole, this whole thing. That right there will get you. And then, like I said, it's got the built-in hex driver head right there. Um, I don't know, you know, would I trust, would I, this be the only kind of uh, tool I took out in the field? Not a chance. Would not risk, would not, you know, put my life on this thing. But, you know, throw it in a bag. If nothing else, you've got a halfway decent little hammer. I mean, you're not driving in, you know, tripod stakes but you know for 10 stakes stuff like that it would probably work for you um it is it is kind of heavy but you know if that if you're not really worried about your weight uh what you're packing it probably work pretty well for you all right next um we have a monocular telescope with loomis compass smartphone holder and tripod um let's see here is the compass. Okay. There's our compass and it does not point north. Give it a little jiggle. It gets pretty close. It'll give you <laughs> Okay. I mean, y'all can. This is kind of, it's spinning with the dial. I mean, I wanted to tell me to where north is. I don't want to have to tell it where north is. That's not even in the ballpark. Give it a jiggle, it works okay. I don't know. If you've got something better, definitely take something better. Um, Phone holder, leaf cap, <laughs> cute little tripod. I miss, I miss. Yeah, put it all the way out. It's fairly sturdy. It's got rubberized non-slip feet on it. Um, it's a 12 by 15 high definition, high power zoom with its 20 millimeter eyepiece diameter. It makes the monocular telescope comfortable around the eye as you're scoping your prey or target. The 12 time magnification allows you to watch birds and other wild animals in high definition details up to 12 times of the leading brand. This telescope with its new technology lets you enjoy the best view in the field. Mm. I've got some Bushnell spotting scopes that are pretty good. I don't know if that's what they're trying to compare it to, but we've got our instructions on here. Oh, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, may need it for setting up the uh, phone holder and stuff like that. You get a lanyard. The holding platform for the phone holder and a little microfiber cleaning cloth. So let's take a look at the actual monocular itself. And here it is. IKU, EKU, probably butchered that. If I did, let me know. Um, got lens covers the rear does not attach the front does um eye relief you've got your magnification there um, i'll have to set it up for the with the phone um see how well it works for that uh, we'll do a i'll do a follow-up video on that one so keep an eye out for that uh let's see 
Tripod. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, that's not a swivel. That's just it's it's unscrewing. Um, that's yeah. That's not an actual swivel. I guess you could use it as a slight swivel, but uh, that's actually the tripod coming off. So wherever you're looking, it better be uh, where you want to look. Don't have a huge range of motion there. Um, I kind of like that. I like this. I would uh, I'll definitely use this. I'll throw it in uh, I'll throw it in one of my my bag, probably my range bag. Um, I don't know, maybe. I like I said, I've got I've got Bushnell range find or uh, spotting scopes and things like that that I use in my range bag. Um, so that that may just end up actually going in like uh, one of my bushcraft bags or something like that. Um, and then. Last is probably the best item in this box, a uh, rechargeable hand warmer. Uh, these things are pretty cool. Uh, you know, if they're a little more reliable than uh, you know just the, the the old school hand warmers, um, like how Club Tech covered up the company sticker with their own sticker. <laughs> So we've got our user manual, which is three pages, three pages long. It's a pretty simple, pretty simple process. Charging cable, wrist lanyard, and we have the hand warmer itself. Uh, nice blue. Nice blue color. Uh, I mean, this is this is not um, bug out or anything. I mean, this is for you know day hikes. Uh, you know, you're going to be out around town all day. It's cold outside. Um, sporting events at night, stuff like that. I mean, this, yeah, this isn't this isn't anything like tactical or anything like that. Uh, one thing I do like about this though, it does have two out port charging parts ports, so you can use this as a uh, phone charger or you know emergency phone charger or anything like that uh, hold down so it came with two bars I haven't charged it or anything uh, there's your battery indicators hold down to get it to turn on and it has three temperature settings 40 degrees 50 degrees and 60 degrees this is in Celsius um, Wish it was it, you know, wish it wasn't Fahrenheit, this is America, but it's not that hard to figure out. Um, it does work, like it's already, it's, I can already feel it warming up. I have it on 60. Um, yeah, I could definitely see this working. Uh, being a handy little thing, you know, like I said, if you're out about or whatever, kids sporting events at night, you know, this time of year gets a little chilly. Except for in Texas this year, because you know it was 82 degrees on Christmas. So, cool little thing. Um, I like I like this. This is definitely the nicest thing in the box. This and the uh, monocular telescope. That I mean, you know, really and truly, that was basically the box. The other stuff is kind of gimmicky, like I said. But these two items, pretty nice. They will be. They will get used. Um, yeah, I do like that a lot, actually. That's pretty cool. Definitely even see this, you know, if you do get hit it, get stuck with an emergency situation, putting this in an armpit or, you know, down around your crotch somewhere with a major artery to warm the blood flow going through your body um, over just warming your hands. Um, could definitely see where that, that would probably help. And according to... Um, According to their literature here, um, it's got uh, it's a 6,000 milliamp battery capacity, heating temperatures, like I said, 40, 50, 60 degrees Celsius. Charge time is for, to fully charge from zero is four and a half hours. And the working time is a pretty impressive eight hours at the 60 degree 
level. So on high, this is supposed to run for eight hours, which is pretty uh, pretty impressive, actually. Um, you got your indicator light, uh, your temperature, power button, and then here are your input and output. So uh, type C output, USB output, and a micro USB input for the charger. Um, yeah, this is definitely going, uh, going in the, in the house for sure. Maybe in the truck. I don't know. My wife will probably actually end up stealing that. I probably won't get to much use of it out of it at all. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that, that's, that's it. Pretty, uh, pretty quick, dirty video for Club Tech. Um, I've actually paused this description for a little while. Uh, just going to hold off on it for a little bit. Decide if I want to keep, uh, this one or a couple of the other ones. I may, uh may have some other things coming up but uh yeah thanks for uh, stopping by thanks for checking out the video be sure to uh like subscribe if you haven't already uh comment down below let me know what you guys think um if you have any idea how to pronounce the brand on the multi-tool hammer please let me know i wasn't even going to try to butcher that um if you have any experience with this uh particular monocular uh, good, bad, let me know, as well as the hand warmer. Um, you know, if you've had, if, if you haven't had good luck with it, I'd like to know before I take it out in the field and, uh, you know, get stuck with it. And that's my only, uh, that's my only option for that kind of product. So, uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate it. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.